Gentlemen Court, the show where we break down your favorite made-for-TV movies one bottle at a time. I'm your host, Patrick Serrano, and today we're talking about Deadly Due Date. Deadly Due Date stars Ashlyn Yenny, Ella Cannon, Philip Boyd, and Diane Robin. On the show, we either pour it up, which means yes, or put a cork in it, which means no, thank you. So what are we gonna do to this movie? Pour it up! Now, if you haven't seen the movie and you wanna avoid spoilers, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hit pause and come on back, cause I'm gonna do a quick little recap starting now. The movie begins with a pregnant Claire running through the woods from a hot guy. Hot like sweaty, not hot like attractive. They get into an altercation that's pretty violent and she beats him with a rock. The man was the birth father of her baby, and he is dead. Bill and Rachel are an attractive couple struggling to have a baby. They go to a high school reunion and run into Claire, who went to high school with Bill and had, slash has, a unhealthy obsession with him, which I get, the man is a hunk. When Rachel sees Claire is pregnant, she gets upset, and Claire consoles her. They offer Claire a ride home, to make up for Rachel's outburst, and Claire is expecting to be invited to their house. You love me, Bill. How can you not see this? You're supposed to take me with you! Hey, shut up in there! You shut up! When she isn't, she throws herself into a wall and gets admitted to the hospital. She calls Bill in the middle of the night to pick her up and flirts with him with a cold compress. That is confidence. Rachel and Bill suggest they adopt Claire's baby and Claire agrees. She sets up a meeting with the adoption agency and intentionally tells Rachel the wrong time so she will look bad. Bill's overbearing mother, Alice, shows up and demands a baby shower while subtly shading everyone. You must be the pregnant classmate who's led to this unique situation. You know, most people just call it adoption. Oh, most people don't have a woman living with them, even if she is an old friend. That I would call unique. Then at the shower, when Rachel starts a kitchen fire, Alice and her daughter-in-law get into a bitch fest. It was an accident, okay? How do you expect to be a mother when you're this irresponsible? Mom. Stay out of it. I didn't want this party. You did. But you did nothing to help. It was all, Rachel do this, Rachel do that. This tastes like it's from a gas station. Do you know what I have had enough of? You. Rachel. No. We would be better off in our lives without you in it. I'm sorry that I want the best for my son. Which I guess he'll never get from you. You bitch. Oh what did you just call me? Alice cools off with a walk and catches Claire with the baby daddy who should be dead. Alice looks into his background and tells Claire she knows about her past. It is a big mistake because Claire kills her brutally. Oh, I guess I forgot. The points need to face down. Claire also kills the baby daddy and then kidnaps Rachel. All this while going into labor. Rachel delivers the baby while being held at gunpoint. Then she is locked in a freezer, and it is wild. Rachel eventually gets out, and Bill shows up. Claire and Rachel fight to the death. I'm sorry. My baby needs me. No! One year later, Bill and Rachel raise the baby and are happy. And that is Deadly Due Date. So Deadly Due Date is one of those Lifetime movies that goes from 0 to 10. And if you aren't familiar with Lifetime movies, you're going to be caught off guard by this. But if you are like me and you are a Lifetime movie fan, you are going to live for it. You're going to love it. This is what we watch Lifetime for. 
the over the top, the campy camp, chewing the scenery. Everybody was committed 110%. Would this happen in real life? That's not the point of a Lifetime movie. If it's based on a true story, then yeah, it should be kind of like more, more realistic. But if we're just going like full on Lifetime, like stole the baby, da da da, all these things, uh, no, we're really going to go there. Claire is obsessed right from the get go. She's holding on to one interaction from high school so long ago and to really turning that into a full on obsession, throwing herself into the brick wall. All this stuff was just like set up at the very top. <laughs> I mean, at the very top, she like is running through the woods from her baby daddy and like rocks him in the face. That's like a good thesis statement. Then you have the character of Alice played by Diane Robin, one of my newly discovered favorite actresses on Lifetime. She's always coming in playing that sassy mother-in-law. Most of the time she is the mother-in-law and she is just serving one line zingers nonstop. This was so great. Her death was a little violent. And I'm like, don't do that to my Diane. Okay, I love this woman. She is so awesome. We actually are friends on, <laughs> on um, Instagram. And she has over 100 credits, 100 movie credits on IMDb. And I know that this woman has done some theater because you are not that fabulous without some theater training or stage experience. And now it is time for the Minority Report, the segment where we talk about representation in TV movies and why it matters. Of course, we have the best friend, Lindsay, played by Brianna Butler, Cesar Chan Latte as Detective Sanchez, Dana Hanna as Detective Morton, Ileana Isabella Perez as a princess, aka my dream role, Anara Janae Rutledge Rodriguez as Samantha, and that's it. So overall, we had some good characters. Of course, you gotta get the POC detectives in there, always uh, stable in Lifetime. The daughter was killing me, Colin Claire, a fat bubble, a fat lady when she's a pregnant lady. Such a kid thing to do, so rude, so rude. And I think that's it for today's episode. If you want more Lifetime on Court, you can follow me at Patrick Miguel or the show at Lifetime on Court. Don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. And hey, if you want more, you can check out our website, lifetimeuncourt.com, or our podcast, Lifetime on Court, wherever you get your podcast. And hey, I have a Lifetime movie coming out very soon. Old Flames and Never Die. I am at the beginning and the end of the movie. So you will see me there and we'll recap it here. Uh, yeah. Until next time, bye.